What's up guys? So this is Four Golden Nuggets, the show where I interview incredible human beings and rock stars that are doing incredible things. I started this show because I wanted to pick the brains of the people that are doing amazing things so I can learn what they're doing right and so I can share that with the world through YouTube and through Facebook and social media. So this is Four Golden Nuggets. Today we got John Newman on the show. He's the leader of the Newman Group at the Keller Williams flagship in Anne Arundel County. Um, he's been doing very successful things here for a long time. So we're going to talk to him about about what it means to really live a big and purposeful life, why Keller Williams is a great company to work for, what makes real estate an awesome career to be in, and why it's important to brand yourself on apps like Instagram and Snapchat and on social media in general. This is Four Golden Nuggets, guys. Check it out. I got a grind, won't stop. Hustle, won't quit. Shine like no other. I be on some other shit. I got a high price lifestyle. Super bad, bad. If I want it, bet I got it. If I don't bet, all I gotta do is go. Get, get, stay up by my business. Uh -huh. John Newman, I want to welcome John Newman to the show. John Newman is the fearless leader of the Newman Group here, the Keller Williams flagship brokerage. Um, very highly motivated, high energy guy, great speaker too. John, welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, Bo? Thank you very much for having me today. Absolutely. We've got one golden rule at Four Golden Nuggets, which is don't be afraid to be 100% real and be 100% honest and say exactly how you feel. You got it, Bo. That being said, let's get into it. So the first question is, you've been in real estate for a while now, so what do you love the most about being in real estate? And for people that are on the fence, why is it a great career to be in? So um, I, I got into real estate in 2003. Uh, the reason I got into real estate is prior to that, I was a financial advisor or a stockbroker at Merrill Lynch. And a lot of my clients told me that their net worth and their wealth was built through real estate. So I'm a numbers guy and uh, I'm pretty good at taking advice from people that have uh, a higher level of success than myself. So I decided to get my real estate license. Um, if you just poll the world's wealthiest people and look at the percentage of them that have made their wealth through real estate, uh -huh. that alone was a reason why I decided to get into real estate. Wow. Wow. Um, I really like what you said there. Um, for me, it was also the opportunity for unlimited immediate growth and unlimited income. Um, plus, we also get to do something amazing, which is help people with that dream of home ownership. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, it's, it truly is. A lot of people think of, of real estate and they, they imagine you know, someone driving somebody around, opening a door, but real estate is truly a business. Like I, I run a real estate business or my business is a business. It, my product just happens to be real estate. Right. So it's a great way for someone that has a, you know, an entrepreneurial spirit right. to get started in business. Absolutely. And there's nothing better than being able to do that at an awesome company like Keller Williams. So Without a doubt. next question is, what do you love the most about Keller Williams and what makes this a, a special company? So so it, it's interesting. I, I came to Keller Williams because I wanted to learn um, how to sell real estate. But what I found out is that Keller Williams actually is a training and leadership development company right. that happens to specialize in selling real estate. In real estate. So I love Keller Williams because it really it isn't about selling real estate. It's about living a big, purposeful life. Yeah. Real estate just happens to be my vehicle. Right. Yeah, I was attracted to Keller Williams for a lot of the same reasons you just covered. Um, the training, the support, the leadership. There's a culture of support here. Um, that makes it a an awesome environment to thrive in. So I agree with you on that. Without a doubt. I've heard you speak a lot about social media and the power of branding yourself on social media platforms like Snapchat and Instagram, Facebook, and so on. Um, so could you talk a little bit about why it's important to be on social media and to brand yourself there? There. Sure. Um, and just to give you a little background. I'm 44 years old, so yeah. I did not grow up and social media. Uh, matter of fact, I got my first cell phone when I was 25 years old. Okay. Uh, but what I can tell you, I, I pay attention to, because I'm in business, 
I pay attention to trends. I pay attention, much like Gary Vaynerchuk talks about, where is the consumer's attention? And we spend more time on social media platforms such as Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat than we do reading papers or watching TV. So if you're in any type of business, your business needs to be where the consumer's eyes are and where right. their attention is. Right. So to me, it's a no-brainer. You want to be where people are looking. Right. Absolutely. And no matter who you are, almost all of us have a social media profile. Um, so if we're going to be on social media, we might as well use it to brand ourselves in a positive way. Without a doubt. So we got one final nugget for you. Also got a bonus nugget for you as well. Okay. Um, so this last nugget before the bonus is you talk a lot about purpose. Um, you're a quantum leap teacher and coach. Um, one of the topics there is finding a purpose. So why is it important and valuable to have a life's purpose? So um, that's a great question and I believe it's one of the most powerful questions that an individual can ask themselves. You know, if you ask yourselves powerful questions, you'll probably have a big and powerful life. Right. You need to know why you're doing something. Like, why am I here? If I'm going to start a business, there's going to be good times and bad times. What's going to pull me through? Yeah. And having a very, very powerful purpose will pull you through those right. times. Right. I, I take it, I'm a pretty spiritual person, I take it to another level. Everyone wants to know what God's plan is for me. Right. And I think the closer you get to that, the more clarity you have in finding that purpose, and then you just go and execute. I mean, if you know what you love to do, and if you're doing something and it gives you tons of energy, yeah, then keep doing that and we'll figure out a way to monetize it. Right. See, when most people chase money. You know, I'm going to school because I want a career because it will pay me well. They should find their purpose and spend more time inside, yeah. and then the financial rewards will come behind them. Absolutely. Yeah, I write down my goals every single morning, and then I write down the reasons why I want those goals. And I find that money can't really give me that extra push when I'm struggling through some hard work, but the purpose can. Uh, without a doubt. Without a purpose, you're like a jellyfish. And if any of you guys out there know what a jellyfish is, I'm sure that a jellyfish knows where they're going. But if you see a jellyfish floating, it appears from, from my, me looking at them that they kind of just go wherever the current or the tide or the winds take them. Right. A purpose gives me clarity. It gives me the repulsion. It gives me the compass, the map to know exactly where I'm going, yeah. and then I will know if I'm off target or not. Absolutely. So you've got to have that purpose. Absolutely. That leads into my next question. Uh, we were just in your office and I saw the nine Newman principles up on the wall. Um, so how does having a set of principles to work by and live by affect you in a positive way and push you and motivate you? Well, first of all, I'm very clear, and anyone that knows me knows that I'm pretty transparent. What you see is what you get. Um, ha having those core values and those core principles allows me to be me. Because, see, at the end of the day, it's my life. I'm not living, I only get one shot at this. I'm here to live my purpose in accordance with my values and my principles. Yeah. I'm not out there to make everybody else happy. Right. You know. It's about me, and I want to live my life to its fullest. Absolutely. Having those principles not only allows you to define who you are in alignment with your purpose, but allows you to attract people mm -hmm. that agree or have those same principles or values. Absolutely. So if I value education and I'm building a business and I'm looking to interview somebody and their values aren't in alignment with mine, we're probably not a good fit. Absolutely. So I believe it's critically important. Eric Thomas says, at the end of your feelings is nothing, but at the end of every principle is a promise. Without a doubt. So with that being said, I want to wrap up this interview. I want to thank you so much for dropping these four golden nuggets. And I know that the Newman Group and the KW flagship as a whole is headed for huge things in 2017. So keep hustling, keep doing what you do. And can I give a quick plug? Sure. Well, not for myself. 
if you have questions about finding a purpose or, or these core values or principles, we do a free class called QL. It's open to anyone between the ages of 18 and 24. Talk to Bo, find me on Facebook, come to this class. It'll be the best eight hours you will ever spend and it's absolutely free. There's my little plug. Absolutely, and I'm gonna have the links up and everything ready to go. So thanks so much again.